It's finally here. TriHackMe finally released their Security Analyst Level 1 certification, or SAL1 for short. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. This is a game changer for anyone looking to break into cybersecurity as a security analyst, because unlike traditional certs that only focus on theoretical knowledge, SAL1 is entirely hands-on, where candidates have to work through a real-world SOC or Security Operations Center experience. But is it worth it? What does it cover? And how does it compare to other SOC certifications? Those are the exact questions we'll be answering in today's video. But as a disclaimer, all the opinions I'm sharing in this video are my own. I'll be sharing the pros and the cons, but I've also been sharing TryHackMe as a resource on my channel for years now. So you guys already know if you've done any of their trainings that they have high quality trainings. So this is TryHackMe's first ever official certification. And personally, as a sneak peek, I am really, really impressed with it but here is my full review of the TriHackMe Security Analyst Level 1 certification. Now, you might be thinking, another certification? Yes, but here is why the SAT1 certification stands out and is going to be the new standard of defensive security certifications. TriHackMe interviewed job candidates and hiring managers while also working with Accenture and Salesforce to build out their SOC simulator. Because they realized there was a gap between how candidates prepare for landing a job and real-world technical skills that hiring managers were actually looking for. After tons of testing, they created an entry-level security analyst certification that mimics the real-world pace and pressure of an SOC environment which means you need to respond to alerts under the same time restraints you'll experience in a real SOC job. And I personally went through the exam myself. This is as close as it gets from simulation to actual real world experience. SOC analysts are the most entry level role in cybersecurity and a try hack me developed SAL1 to help bridge the gap for aspiring cybersecurity professionals. So let's jump into what the exam looks like. And I'll also share my personal experience going through the exam myself. So what are the prereqs to taking the exam? There aren't any required prerequisites, but before taking the SAT1 cert, it's highly recommended to build a strong foundation in cybersecurity concepts and SOC-related skills through structured learning paths and hands-on practice. You should not go into this exam thinking you'll be able to pass if you don't have any of the cybersecurity or SOC foundations down. You can already get all this training on at TryHackMe, so you likely have more foundational knowledge than you think if you've already gone through any TryHackMe learning paths. These include Cybersecurity 101, SOC Level 1, Investigating with Splunk, and a few other learning paths. Once you're done, you'll be ready to take on the official SAT1 certification exam. The exam is divided into three major sections, each designed to test a different aspect of an SOC analyst skill set, with two of the sections focusing on hands-on simulation training. You'll be working through a variety of real-world attack simulations and analyzing security incidents. The main goal of this exam is to get as close as possible to what it's really like working in a real world in an SOC analyst job. The actual exam is about six hours long. Each section takes about two hours, but you have a 24 hour window to complete the entire thing. So you technically do have time to take breaks in between. But the most interesting part about the SAL1 exam is that the SOC simulations really do mimic the real world SOC to a T. You're basically getting these security alerts, deciding whether or not this is a true positive or a false positive after digging into the logs on Splunk. And once you're done your research, you have to write up a case report for each security alert that you go through. You also have to decide whether or not this alert should be escalated to a higher level SOC team. So this is almost exactly what you would be doing on the job as an SOC analyst level one. And not to mention that they even stagger the alerts. So they come on a rolling basis while you're taking the exam. It actually follows the timing structure of what you would typically see as an SOC analyst. So it really does feel like you're on the clock working as a SOC analyst, which I personally thought was a really realistic touch to put into the exam. In section one, security analyst fundamentals covers foundational SOC concepts, log analysis, and common threats. Next up is section two, foul play, where you'll go over your first SOC simulator scenario, and section three, SOC chaos, where you'll get to tackle more security incidents. The SOC simulator tests your practical skills by immersing you in a virtual SOC environment. So each section consists of one scenario where you'll be responding to the alerts that come up using the SIM and your spun up VM. You'll see alerts triggered in real time and will also have to prioritize and triage them effectively. The SOC scenarios also test your case reporting skills, checking false positives, and when to escalate alerts, which is basically exactly what you'd be doing as an SOC analyst. The exam covers log analysis, phishing investigations, and a live incident response, which are the exact critical skills that hiring managers are looking for. Designed with input from industry leaders like Accenture and Salesforce, SAT1 helps bridge the gap between theory and practice, proving to hiring managers that you're job ready. If you're struggling to land an SOC analyst role, this certification offers a practical way to stand out, showcase your skills, and increase your chances of getting hired. Now let's break down each of these three sections in more detail. The TriHackMe 
me, Sat One Exam gives you a full 24 hours to complete it at your own pace. Pricing starts at $2.97 for premium subscribers, or you can grab the full package with training for $3.49. Not to mention that you'll get three free months of free premium access to work through the cyber fundamentals and SOC level one learning paths. So you'll be 100% ready when you take the exam. And the best part, if you don't pass on your first try, you'll get a free retake. So there's no pressure, just progress. All right, part one of the exam is all about fundamentals through multiple choice questions. If you're new to cybersecurity, this section will test your foundational knowledge, which is pretty standard for entry-level cybersecurity certifications. I'd recommend brushing up on all SOC concepts and foundations before starting the exam. You'll get two hours to complete about 80 questions, which is more than enough time if you studied beforehand. But the fun part is the hands-on SOC simulation scenarios in the next two sections of the exam. Next up, we have foul play. This section is all about phishing investigations. You'll be digging through logs, working through security alerts and events, and understanding key SOC workflows. Just for the SOC simulation environment with a live SIEM along with real documentation, I already have to give this a 10 out of 10. If you worked with SIEM tools like Splunk or the Elk Stack before, then you'll feel right at home here. If not, don't worry, Try Hack Me provides learning paths as a prereq, so you should be up to speed if you've already taken the recommended training. You'll also get hands-on experience analyzing emails and of course searching through email logs. This is a crucial skill since phishing remains one of the top attack vectors today. And finally, in the section three of the exam, the real test, SOC chaos. This is where everything comes together. You're thrown into the middle of various high priority security alerts, and it's basically up to you how to respond, how you triage them. This section really mirrors real world SOC work where you'll have to react fast, piece together evidence, and get experience making critical decisions under pressure. If you want to prove that you can handle a real SOC job, this is a section that will push you to your limits. So drum roll please, is the SAW1 certification actually worth it? Absolutely yes. If you're serious about becoming an SOC analyst, it's practical, affordable, and it gives you hands-on experience that many other certifications don't. But I will say that it's not a walk in the park, so make sure you're going through the recommended training paths before attempting the exam. Yes, it's an entry-level certification, but that doesn't mean you don't have to prepare for it. Here's my full list of pros and cons for the certification based on my review going through the exam myself. The pros, hands-on learning with real-world scenarios. It covers essential SOC skills. It's affordable compared to other certifications that may cost high hundreds or thousands of dollars. But the cons, sort of, even though the exam has no prereqs, I highly, highly recommend completing the learning paths before attempting the exam. If you're completely new to cybersecurity, then you'll need to complete these first to be able to get through the material on the SAW1 certification exam. Otherwise, you most likely won't pass, but again, there's no such thing as a certification that you don't have to study for. The second con is that it will take some time for the certification to get added on to candidate qualification lists from hiring managers. This is a factor I always think about when I'm reviewing certifications because a lot of times there's a delay between the time that a new certification pops up on the market and job candidates actually start getting that certification on their resumes, all the way to when hiring managers are actually asking for those certification in job listings. But I really do think that the future of cybersecurity certifications is moving towards the direction of hands-on practical simulation exams where you're actually testing your skills and not just answering multiple choice questions. There needs to be some hands-on tangible experience that you're getting from this exam to test out your skills. And that is exactly what the Try Hack Me SAT 1 certification exam does. So yes, I do think this is the future, but it may take some time for hiring managers and recruiters to start looking for these on their job listings. So just something to note there. If you're looking for a way to test your hands-on SOC skills and stand out in the cybersecurity job market, this is a great place to start. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to take the exam or your thoughts on the exam structure and what it covers. I would love to hear them. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful for anyone considering the Try Hack Me SAW1 certification. It is well worth it. And you can check out the full details through the link in my description. And by the way, I'm hosting a giveaway for a free SAW1 certification voucher on LinkedIn. So be sure to check it out. Also link in my description. Don't forget to also stay connected through LinkedIn, Discord, and Instagram. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.